morning all um i'm going to do a quick video today to show you how um to view the data in an sqlite database that um core data creates so uh, any of you that have used core data uh would probably love it if xcode came with a, a data viewer but unfortunately it doesn't so what i've done is i've set up this really simple project there's just a, a text box here a button and a label that's going to display the results um, in the view controller all we've got is we've got reference to the the um, text view got a reference to the uh, label and um, this function here which saves the data um, we get the app delegate we get the manage context uh, we create an entity using the 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 proper method. Uh, one thing about this actually is I noticed that a lot of tutorials um, you just get the, the reference and then you set the values with key value coding. That That's fine um, but me personally I prefer to cast it to the actual entity uh, that way you can access all its properties and what have you and it just seems a bit less error prone to me. Um, then we um, save the context and uh, clear the results and, and dis sorry, display the results and clear the text box. If we just go to the model you'll see all we've got here is just one test entity and uh, one value. So if we, if we just run that quickly or not as the case may be. Okay. So we, we can um, put anything we like in here, test, test, whatever. Um, so that should have saved it. So the only thing is we don't really know. So we don't really know what's in there. So um, how you do this, and, and bearing in mind actually that I'm using uh, probably the latest version of Xcode. So this is, you know, latest Swift, latest Xcode. Um, I know these videos become out of date pretty quick. so. Um, that's that's where we are. I'll do an updated version if anything changes. But what we need to do is we need to get the path. And the easiest way to do that is if we go to the app delegate. Um, there's this function here. Uh, what we do is we'll just do let uh, equal um, file manager dot default. And then in here, oops, in here we're going to do a document directory and user domain mask. Okay, so and then we're just going to print out the result of that. So this is a, an array, obviously. And we're going to get the, the count of the errors minus one, obviously. Um, and then cast it as now. Okay. Okay. So now, when we run the project, uh, what should happen is in our in our uh, log window there, we should get the path of our document data um, directory. Eventually. So there it is. So what we want to do, we don't want actually to, to get the documents. We just want to go from the first backslash um, to the last backslash and then copy that. Then we're going to go to Finder, Go, Go to Folder, uh, words, and then go there. Okay, and there you'll see in the application support our SQLite database. And I'm going to open that with a program I've got called Base. Um, but if you, you've got whatever you like, you use what you want. Um, and in here we can do select from. And there's our entity there. Six a Z on there, I'm not sure why that is, but there we go, test entity. Execute that, and there's all our values. So there you have it. That's how you view the data that Core Data creates. Thank you.